beautiful weather outside right now across the low country. You can see on our first alert live Super Doppler Max, it is gorgeous outside. We're watching some wet weather offshore. And that's pretty much it. High pressure still in play, and that's actually going to be the name of the game as we go through the rest of this week. And of course, through the weekend, I did mention that we could see some impacts, of course, from Tropical Depression number 16, which could become Tropical Storm Nate. We'll talk more about that. But in the meantime, we have got some beautiful weather on the way. So let's talk about the future tracker to get you through the rest of this afternoon. Just a few fair weather clouds, and you can notice I mentioned the showers offshore, and we are seeing that onshore flow, so we can't completely rule out a couple stray showers along our coastal communities. But again, that's pretty much it really kind of just uh, dying out before it moves inland. And we do carry a very slight chance as we go into later tonight. But again, that is a very slight chance. We're looking mainly dry. and Most of you will not need those umbrellas. Let's talk about your temperatures right now. We're 82 in North Charleston. We've got some upper 70s along our beach communities. 81 in Somerville, 82 Orangeburg, 80 right now in Monk's Corner. Can't beat it. Feeling pretty seasonable. We should be about 80 this time of year. Lots of sunshine. And notice as we go hour by hour, we will lose the heat, uh, but pretty slowly until we get to about 7 o'clock, then we'll kind of drop off into the lower 70s. But again, feeling really comfortable and overall pretty quiet tonight. Overnight lows are going to be right around 66 degrees. Quiet, comfortable northeast wind around 10 miles per hour. Going into your Thursday, we're looking unseasonably warm again. We should be about 80, so we're looking about mid 80s for us tomorrow. Uh, mix of cloud and sun, and we're looking mainly dry. Now, we do carry a very slight chance along our coastal communities once again due to that onshore flow. You can see a northeasterly wind today turning easterly tomorrow, so that straight onshore flow about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now let's talk about Tropical Depression 16. If you're just joining us, we did mention this uh, earlier, but it is going to move towards the north and west and eventually more northerly over the Gulf of Mexico, looking to become a Category 1 hurricane as it makes landfall potentially between Louisiana and Florida, most likely the Florida Panhandle. Then, of course, it will weaken as it moves over land, but as it does, it should stay to our west, but we can expect some rainfall from this as well as the potential for some tropical storm force winds and also some coastal flooding potential and of course that looks to be the timeline mainly on Sunday into Monday. You can see as we go through Saturday that northwesterly turn continuing uh, and then it wants to make a northerly northeasterly turn as we go into sat Sunday and of course that would be the potential for that land uh, interaction as a category one hurricane. Again we'll continue to track it most of the models keeping it uh, away from us, but we will see some minor impacts. It does look to be that way as we go into the weekend. So you can see over the next few days, 85, 86, 85, so unseasonably warm, which is a slight chance of a shower that will elevate as we go into Sunday and Monday. So stay tuned. Our chief meteorologist, Bill Walsh, will have the latest on your forecast. For now, let's get a check of the roadways with First Alert traffic. And things are looking pretty quiet out there as well. Usually when we have nice weather, we have nice traffic. A lot of green out there. That is great news. We're just seeing some congestion in the typical spots, but you can see we we do have an accident on Farmington Road at 17A, although it doesn't look to be uh, slowing things down, so that's great news. You can see on I-26, things looking pretty good. 20 minutes both directions, Somerville to downtown, downtown to Somerville. Can't beat it. Bless you, Bill. 31 minutes, Mount Pleasant to West Ashley, going 526 westbound.